You see him there at Wrigley Field joining me now here on high heat. Certainly in my opinion in the estimation of many the front runner for the National League Cy Young Award. Sandy, thank you for being with us. I know you take great pride in going deep into the ball game. How many conversations have you had to have with Don Mattingly saying, hey, I got it. You're not taking the ball away from me. Yeah, thank you. First, thank you for having me right now. Yeah, they know. They know, man, they, they don't like to take me out of the game, you know, because they know my mentality, you know. And I hate when they came to me, you know I mean? I, I don't like that, you know I mean? I want to stay in the game all the time, you know, I want to finish all my game. Where do you get that from? Why are you that way? I mean, I learned that, you know I mean? I mean, the time, you know, the experience and the, and the growth that I've been have, you know, I think uh, that's my mentality that I've been create, you know what I mean? And I take a little bit from Pedro Martinez, you know what I mean? He, he, don't like take, <laughs> he don't like when they take him out of the game, you know what I mean? But every time I take to the mouth, you know, my, my mentality is to go there, finish all my game, you know, and win my game. Have you had conversations with Pedro? And if so, is there anything you can share with us? Uh, yeah, it was a long time ago, I mean, before, before I signed him. Yeah, I mean, he told me, hey, you got great arm, you know, keep doing your job, you know, keep taking advantage. I know that you like for your pitching to speak for you and that you're not a man of many words. Can you take me through a bit of your pregame routine? I understand that regardless of Miguel Rojas's music is blaring for across the clubhouse, that you're more of a quiet guy. You kind of put in the AirPods. And what are you listening to? Take me through your pregame routine. I mean, I'm that guy who don't like talk to anybody, you know, day before I pitch, you know, I mean, I just get to the, to the clubhouse, you know, sitting on my locker, you know, listen to music that my mom liked before, you know, and, you know, concentrate, you know, I think that's the key that I've been like doing all the time, you know, I mean, just sitting on my locker, listen to music, you know, if they came to me, they have a question, you know, I have the answer, you know, but at, at the moment, I don't like to talk to anybody. Tell me a little bit more about your late mom, Francisca, and the music that you listen to in honor of her and how that helps you. I mean, yeah, I mean, she like listen to music. Uh, it's from like Christian music. He say uh, everything wanna be okay. You know, I think uh, I'm start listening um, after like she died, you know, because it told me to, to be more concentrated, help me to think about my mom, you know, and that's it you know i think uh that's a great for me you know that's an honor you know like listen to that music and remember my mom that's great and i know that thinking about your family gives you great peace and i know that the fans there in miami uh really appreciate what you're doing for this club there's a whole section there at lone depot park sandy's beach how have the fans reacted to you and, and, and what do you feel about the way that that they've responded to you and embraced you Oh, that's amazing. You know, I mean, I love it. I mean, this is the third time that they do it for me. You know, I think uh, I feel like I have support all the time I pitch. You know, I mean, I love when I see those fans over there support my teammates, support me, you know, and we feel great. You know, we feel great every time we see like that, the full stadium. You know, I mean, when the people come to the game, you know, we feel blessed, you know, because we got more energy to go to the mound, to go to the field and compete. Tell me about your all-star experience. You had a great inning. You pitched a perfect second inning in the all-star game. You struck out Giancarlo Stanton. You got Byron Buxton. Then you got Tim Anderson to ground out. Pretty heavy hitters in that lineup. <laughs> yeah, I mean, second time all-star, you know, I'm a great, great opportunity for me, you know, go there, half one, pitch one inning, you know, get a two strike out, man. But the, the most part that I like, you know, that's being with a guy, you know, being with a guy that I faced before, you know, being with a guy like Kershaw, you know, like those guys, you know I mean? I was enjoying those moments, you know, I feel so happy because I was there represent my country, my teammate, and my team, you know, I think uh, I'm the guy who was there, you know, chilling guy, like the same that I do before I pitch, you know, then go to the mouth, concentrate on everything I do. Is there anybody that you really wanted to talk to? You mentioned Clayton Kershaw, but is there anybody that you really wanted to pick their brain or have conversations with? No, anybody. I just want to be there, you know, like see those guys, you know, around me, you know, have fun together, you know, talking a little bit, you know, and enjoy the moment. All right, so you're not pitching today, obviously, or else you wouldn't be with us. So what's a day like for you as you're just getting ready for a game there between the Marlins and the Cubs? It's a day game. What, what will you do after this? I know, just get early today to the field. You know, I mean, doing my routine, you know, go to the weight room for two hours and something minute, you know, 
then support my team, you know, sitting on the clubhouse and the dugout, you know, support my team and, you know, win the game. What's it been like pitching with Don Mattingly as your manager? That's great. You know, I mean, I have done it for five years and a half now. You know, I think uh, he's the guy who's been there for us. You know, I think uh, he's the guy who's been there for us, not like to play baseball, you know, it's, and to teach all like how to play baseball, how to compete, you know, because I mean, he's an old school, you know, I mean, he know everything, you know, <laughs> he tried to teach all how to, how to keep playing baseball hard. When you were growing up, at what point did you know you had an opportunity to actually be a major league baseball pitcher? And at what point did you realize like, hey, I've made it? You know, I mean, I started playing baseball when I was five years old, but I didn't even, I never know like if I want to play in the big league. You know, I mean, I was playing baseball, play baseball, you know, with my mentality positive. You know, I mean, I think then I got the opportunity to sign it for the first time, 2012, 13. You know, I mean, and now I am. I think I'm so blessed. You know, my family feel good. You know, I mean, my family feel good about it. You know, I feel so blessed. You know, because I'm here now. I take care of my family, and I'm on Grande Liga now. <laughs> Yeah, you are in Las Grandes Ligas, and you're absolutely <laughs> kicking butt, Sandy. And I know that you have a great amount of pride uh, for the Dominican Republic, where you're from. And I know it means a lot when you can play for your country, represent your country. And Juan Soto feels the same way. Uh, obviously, he's been the talk of the town from the Dominican Republic. What is it like facing him? Oh, man, it's always like an honor for me, you know, not just him. I think every guy from the Dominican Republic with, and any country, you know what I mean? But face Juan Soto, you know, he's uh, one of the best hitters right now, you know, and he's aggressive, you know what I mean? I enjoy those moments when I got Juan Soto and when I have, like, Harper and those guys, you know, when they are aggressive to me, <laughs> you know, I feel so great, you know, because we have, like, a big competition. Do you like that, though? I mean, do you love being able to rise to that occasion and say, hey, there's not a hitter on the planet that I can't pitch to. There's not a hitter on the planet that I can't get out. No, I mean, I just get to the mouse. Doesn't matter who is in the box. You know, I mean, just when I do my job, you know, attacking the hitter and compete. You know, doesn't matter if they win or if I win. You know, I mean, that's a, like a big challenge for us. Do you pay attention, Sandy, to all of the noise about the fact that you could very well win the National League Cy Young Award just based on how great of a season you're having? Yeah, I see that. I see everything. I see everything. I hear everything, <laughs> you know, but I, I don't have to play, to play attention, you know, because, I mean, if I listen too much about what people say, you know, maybe want to take me out of the focus, you know. But right now, I mean, I just want to do my job, you know, just go outside every fifth day, you know, and do my job and compete. Doing a great job, taking that ball every fifth day. Three complete games all year. Only one other pitcher has two complete games. Sandy, thank you so much for being with us. Best of luck the rest of the way. We appreciate your time.